When the Transcontinental Railroad was completed in 1869, the Union and the Central Pacific Railroad companies discovered a major flaw in the route over Donner Pass and the High Sierra. That flaw? It was steep. For a long train, that is disaster. The tracks over Donner Pass are about twice as steep as most railroad tracks and take significantly more fuel to climb the high mountains. A solution to the problem came in 1909, after the Western Pacific Railroad bypassed the High Sierra and built a less steep route through Plumas County and the Feather River Canyon. All of the pictures up here were taken while I was on duty over the course of many years working for the Western Pacific. Chris Scow is no stranger to the Feather River Canyon. The retired railroad conductor rode the tracks for most of his life and after retiring, settled down in Plumas County and started a museum and train excursion company that focuses on the Western Pacific Railroad. But uh, basically a lot of these shots that you're getting you only got them because you were the conductor. That's correct. <laughs> Train enthusiasts and rail fans from all over the world come to Plumas County to catch a glimpse of what Chris calls the seven railroad wonders of the Feather River Canyon. It's a series of tunnels, bridges, and engineering feats. And it all starts at Reno Junction. Entering and exiting the Feather River Canyon is the Chilkoot Tunnel. This 6,002 foot long passageway either takes locomotives west into the Sierra or east into the Nevada desert. The lowest natural pass in the entire High Sierra mountain range. 20 miles west of the Chilkoot Tunnel is Portola. This railroad town is a hub and change station for passing locomotives. It's also home to the Western Pacific Railroad Museum. Rail fans come here to view working locomotives and see relics from railroad past. Yeehaw! It's also one of the only places in the nation where the general public has the opportunity to operate a real locomotive like this rotary snowplow. Heading southwest of Portola towards the town of Grey Eagle, locomotives cross over the Calayo Bridge, a tremendous 1,005 foot long steel trestle which stands more than 170 feet over Willow Creek. Here is a rare photo shared with us by the McDonald and Lundblad family which gives us a glimpse of what a train looked like crossing in 1912. You can look right at the very bottom of it and you'll see the old right of way of the Sierra Valley Railway. 19 miles northwest of the Calayo Bridge is one of the Feather River Canyon's most unique engineering innovations, the Williams Loop. In order to get over the steep hill and keep the tracks at a 1% grade, builders had to loop one mile of track over itself, much like a spiral staircase. I would get off here on the upper part of the loop and slowly walk down the stairs to the lower part, let my train go around the loop, and then catch the caboose on the lower part. If you're wondering, the only other loop like this one in California is the Tehachapi Loop, located just outside of Bakersfield. This is the most famous rail fan location in the world. Northwest of the Williams Loop is the Keddy Y. It's the only railroad Y in the world, with two tracks merging over a canyon and then entering a tunnel. The trestle is located high above Spanish Creek, and below is the Keddy Resort, which has one of the best views of the bridge. 1909, the Golden Spike was pounded on this bridge to officially open up the Western Pacific. Rock Creek Reservoir is not necessarily one of the seven railroad wonders of the Feather River Canyon, but to the east of Highway 70 is the Honeymoon Tunnel, which makes for a particularly good picture as the train snakes through two tunnels, showing itself in the middle. The two tunnels are so close together, they're almost touching, thus it's the honeymoon. Just south of Rock Creek Reservoir, the railroad crosses over Highway 70 and the Feather River at Tobin Bridges. And it turned out there was only room for a very tight area, and so they had to stack the bridges on top of each other. The railroad bridge was first built in 1910, then came the Highway 70 bridge in 1936. Locals say it's good luck if the train crosses over your car. The seventh railroad wonder in the Feather River Canyon is the Pulga Bridges. Located just over the Plumas County line in Butte County, the highway bridge spans 680 feet across the canyon and 200 feet above the railroad. It's a magnificent sight. 
and a wonderful way to end the journey. This was a major undertaking by the state of California uh, to complete uh, State Route 70. Along the old Western Pacific Railroad in the Feather River Canyon, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads. <laughs>